All right, today we are testing if lightweight equals more distance. So we have a 174 gram Halo Boss here. Little beauty's got a donkey stamp on it. Okay, and then we have a Blizzard, Blizzard Champion Boss that is 150 something grams, I believe. Much lighter. And we're gonna throw them against each other and see if they're, for an amateur disc golfer like me, if there really is that big of a difference. Um, I think the ex expectation is that the lighter one will go further. We don't have a lot of wind today, so that shouldn't be an issue. But yeah, I'm just kind of curious myself to see if weight really matters that much to someone like me. So we're gonna do a bunch of throws here, hopefully get consistent ones to measure, and um, we'll come to a verdict. So hopefully some good shots are coming your way. So we've got two lightweight bosses. We're gonna throw those first. Oh gosh, that one's wide. First throws out, we've got 30 foot advantage to the lightweights. That was low, but that was pretty bad. Yeah. Let's try and do a little bit of Anheuser. Oh. Yank job, that was zooming though. That was zooming, let's try that again. Is that gonna go any further? Yeah, I'd say that went further. Okay. I don't know if you guys, you guys will be able to see that. Yeah, I was kind of pumped. Wow. 374. That is a rip for me. 374 at the heavyweight. 358. That makes sense. We're barely past the basket here. Okay, 358 to 374, I think. So 15 to 20 feet difference in favor of the heavyweight one. Interesting. Okay. Also, 374 for me is pretty fun. That's good. I don't get that often. Around the 350 range usually. So we're pretty much tied up. And getting the, the lighter one beat the halo plastic by about 20 something feet or 30 something feet I think. And then the halo plastic just beat the lighter weight by about 15 to 20. Okay so lightweight is still has the slight edge for distance it seems. But we're gonna try and put it on similar lines as that last one. <laughs> Let's try and not yank this one. Oh! Okay, I'm also gonna measure that. There is not a yank job. A little shorter for the heavier weight again. So let's see. That wasn't exactly comparable throws, but these lightweight ones do seem to be going a tiny bit further. If you're still watching, thanks a lot. You're awesome. And I appreciate the likes and subscribes and the views. So I enjoy making these videos, so I enjoy when people enjoy watching them. So I don't know why I emphasize people there, like some of you guys are bots, but all right. 
That was a little higher than it needed to be, but that's not bad. Oh, that was nice too. Okay. Dang it, I think I kind of babied that one again. Eh, it's flying. Okay, so I'll put some numbers up on the screen for you guys. But the lightweight disc did go a little further than the 173 to 176, I think it says. Anyway, the lightweight disc did go a little further this time around. I tried to get some pretty consistent uh, shot shapes for you guys. I think I did an okay job. Um, so maybe it's worth getting a couple lightweight discs, especially maybe in some higher speeds if you're trying to bomb them out there. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. Now, I had no wind today, so that's definitely a factor you need to look into. If there's a lot of wind, maybe these guys don't fight through it as well, probably. But maybe you get some, uh, maybe get some Blizzard Champion plastic, who knows? Maybe get a couple 160 gram disc in there, something a little stabler and just really rip on them, see how far they go for you. Something to try out, that's all I'm saying. But uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I appreciate all the views and everything. So comment down below if you have any critiques or anything you wanna see in the future. Uh, my Instagram is also down in the description. I post reels on there and I let you guys know when I post on YouTube. But yeah, we post weekly, every Sunday, try and get something out to you guys. So I uh, appreciate it and have a good one. Boogie woogie, boogie woogie. <laughs>